One of my favorite things to do is manipulate scores to teach. And so here's how we're going to do it, the first one. Game on. Okay, play volleyball. Oh, I, I will say, though, the losers got, got something on the line. I will say that, though. So what they don't know is what ends the game. They have no idea, they're, they're up one nothing. They don't know if it's a skill, they don't know if it's a score, they don't know if it's an error, we don't know. So what, they're, what we're trying to do is try to create a level of focus of just be really pure in everything you're doing and win every point because you don't know what's gonna cost you the game. <clears throat> Game over, far side loses. You have to do one barrel roll. Oh, a somersault's even better, but. So, anybody want to guess why that game ended? No. No. Yes, we put a free ball over the net. So don't do that. So. As you build your team, you start building certain philosophies, certain taboos, certain unwritten rules that just can't happen. So I like using score or just ending games or, um, you know, we say if a tip scores, the game is over because we've been letting too many tips score. We can't allow that. So I like using different motivations like this to reinforce the proper behavior. I also love playing games with no objective because we always talk to our athletes about the score shouldn't matter, it's about execution, the process. Well, actually put your money where your mouth is and play a game without, the, uh, without a, a clear objective, even though we as coaches have one. And then it's a good teaching moment. Next time we overpass a ball, we're gonna continue to lose that game. One more game. So now that criteria is on the table. We'll keep that one out there and we'll layer in another one. Meanwhile, you can be coaching up your athletes on whatever it is you're working on, blocking or spiking or whatever it is. So I'm just gonna choose something on this next rally. Game over, far side, you lose. You need five, here's, here's your punishment, five no arm jumping jacks. Five no arm jumping jacks. Why do you think you lost the game, guys? Mr. Serve out the baseline. So again, the point of the drill is using score, using unclear objective drills to try to teach some things and, and layer in what's really important to you as a team um, and then letting them just play volleyball and then coach inside the drill.